Holy Zoe. Woo! Do you like my dress? Yeah. <laughs> you are pretty. Man, you're gorgeous. Woo! Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. That is oh, you're good. You look good. Thank you. Okay. Let's go get married right now. Ryan and Zoe that you both have had God reveal to you how sacred and precious this moment is that God intends for your marriage to last for a lifetime in fact his word tells us in the book of Ephesians chapter 5 that wives are to understand and support their husbands in ways that show their support for Christ and in the same way it speaks to husbands and it says go all out in your love for your wives exactly as Christ did for the church a love marked by giving and not by getting. The book of John even tells us that Jesus prayed for his disciples. And he said, Father, I pray that they will all be one. And just as the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit model unity for us, your marriage should exemplify a Christ-centered unity that honors him in all ways and at all times. So Ryan, having a full understanding of both the privileges and the obligations of marriage, do you take Zoe to be your wedded wife, to live together in the holy estate of marriage? Do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor and cherish her, keeping her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, do you pledge to keep yourself only for her as long as you both shall live? I do. And Zoe, having a full understanding of the privileges and the obligations of marriage, do you take Ryan to be your wedded husband, to live together in the holy estate of marriage? Do you promise to love him, comfort him, honor and cherish him, keeping him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others? Do you pledge to keep yourself only for him as long as you both shall live? Thank you. I know that both of you have planned for and dreamed about this day for quite some time, and society would tell us that today is the end of your romantic journey together and that you're supposed to go off and live happily ever after, and you will. However, 
Today is not the end. I believe today is your starting point. And all of us who are gathered here today eagerly anticipate the great things that God is going to do through you. I want you to take just a second and look at this amazing crowd of people who are gathered here. Take notice of your family members that are seated on the front row. Look at your special friends and loved ones that are standing up here at the front of the room with you. Everyone who is here today is here because we believe in you and we want God's best for your lives. So enjoy this moment, but realize that the best is yet to come. And continue to place God first in your lives. Continue to seek to honor one another. And as you do, we believe that God will bless you and he will give you his favor. When I see the way that God has combined your unique personalities, your gifts, and your abilities, I am reminded of how awesome our God is. Your parents did an amazing job raising you. They have instilled their best qualities into you. And together you show that God can do so much more when a couple is united than he could if they stayed separate. I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that God has a tremendous future planned for your family. I encourage you both to prioritize your relationship with him to enjoy each moment that you share together, to love deeply, to forgive often, to laugh together, to cry together, to pray together, and to make memories that will last a lifetime. I, Ryan, take you, Zoe. I, Zoe, take you, Ryan. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded husband. I pledge to you my life and my love. I pledge to you my life and my love. I promise honesty and faithfulness to you alone. I promise honesty and faithfulness to you alone. I will respect you and trust you. I will respect you and trust you. I will help you and care for you. I will help you and care for you. I will forgive you as Christ has forgiven us. I will forgive you as Christ has forgiven us. I will share my life. I will share my life. My love. My love. And my heart with you. And my heart with you. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live.